Welcome back to Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog, and I'm getting ready to do another e-bike conversion. This is the Magic Pi V5, uh, the latest model. Well, I've had it a, a close to a year, but I'm finally getting around to put it on. Uh, let's uh, kind of have a look at the pieces. Now this is a 1000 slash 1500 watt motor. Here's the Raleigh I'm putting it on. You saw the uh, e-bike conversion kit I had on just the other day. I uh, put on the surface tires on front. Uh, with the uh, thorn resistant, it's thorn resistant and has thorn resistant tubes. Re lubed the bearings, they definitely needed some work, tighten that up. So I'm kind of in the uh, tight confines of my little one car garage, but it's not, not a big problem. So there it is. Now it's a pretty heavy unit. Before I put the tire on, I weighed it out at about 20 pounds, but it's got the controller built in. It's a big direct drive motor with a lot of power, and it mentions a uh, regen capability, so we'll see how that goes. Now I got this 48 volt battery uh, that I've had for a while. Uh, should do the job. Might be a little tough to mount on the top tube. It's not really designed for this setup, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's got a really large capacity. This will handle up to 52 volts, but it says it takes a little bit of the reliability away. So uh, it came with the twist throttle, and there's the harness uh, that hooks up the two brake levers it came with with safety switches, and the cruise control, and also it can be a horn button. But I opted to get the thumb throttle and that's in the center of the picture now. Uh, thumb throttle I'm much more comfortable with and I, I gotta admit I do love the cruise control on this particular setup. So it came with a couple spare spokes, a freewheel spacer. Uh, now I've got a pair of uh, torque arms and definitely you need at least one for something this powerful but I'm gonna have a pair. Now there's the display unit which I ah, really wasn't all that hot on getting but it should show the speed and it also has a little push button thing and it'll show some other stuff so it'll be kind of cool. Came with some spare grips. So there's the kit. Uh, uh, this came from Lunacycle and all this stuff here oh, retails out at a little over $500 not including the battery. They do have a lot of battery choices. I'm opting to use this used one which uh, should be good so it should work out fine. So there we go. The first look at the Golden Pie V5 motor conversion. Should slide right on this bike. Now I have a lot of problems with the conversion because most of my bikes are vintage or kind of old or whatever so they don't always fit so I actually ended up getting this, this particular Raleigh on Craigslist from a reputable guy him and his wife were selling off their two bikes and seemed pretty I don't think it's stolen or anything so I'll be putting that you can already see I got the surface drifter tire on there thorn resistant tube and the tire is uh, definitely a, a high speed and uh, it also the tire is flat resistant so should be pretty good there so there you go that's the Magic Pie V5 going on and we'll see how much fun it is. It should do 30 mile an hour with this battery which is a little faster than uh, our local allows the law but hey you can always go a little bit slower. Okay thanks for following along I'll keep you updated on how this goes and we'll do some riding on it. Now if this is anything like the 350 watt ones I've ridden it's going to be incredibly smooth, totally quiet and just really a mind buster and I love the cruise control. So I showed you all the goodies. Battery, motor and rim, came pre-laced, I put the tire on, thumb throttle, twist throttle it came with, but you can get the thumb throttle, brake handles with switches, cruise control button, extra grips, I won't be using those, I got some great surface grips, torque arms in the bags, you can barely see them, and the display unit. So there you go, Magic Pie V5, should be fun.